Yeah, feel that frame rate lag. Oh my. 10 frames a second. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am playing on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified server. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Hey, we're still over here at the Ocean Monument, or rather, the former Ocean Monument, soon to be Guardian Farm. Today we're going to be doing what we have been needing to do for some time, what we've been working towards, and that is clearing out the water. Now, you may have been wondering up to this point, how in the world are we going to do it? And let me show you. So we're going to start by building a machine like this, and then like so. So we're just going to take this on like this, and I'm going to be building what is called the Moses. Let me turn down the hostile creature sounds because those guardians are going to get annoying. I want to hear them a little bit, but not have them be overpowering. So we're building what is called the Moses, which stands for Modular Sea Splitter. It is an invention by the ZipCrowd server. It's a modular water pushing, or really any liquid. You could use it for lava as well. And it's driven by a slime block engine. We'll just, I think what we'll do just come along with the dirt. Now if you look at the tutorial, which I have linked in the description box below, you will note that they use iron blocks. But uh, that's because they're in creative and you can destroy any block easily in creative. You cannot destroy iron easily in survival. So we are using dirt so that when it comes time we will be able to easily tear this down because this is not a machine you leave get out of the way it's not a machine you leave in in use so you do tear it down after you're done get get out of the way thank you that's the one downside oh yeah they're hanging out okay so so i've got dirt and since we've got efficiency five shovels and Haste 2 beacons, once all the water is cleared out, it will not be a problem at all. Oh, once again. I'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we're back, ladies and gentlemen, and it looks like I lost a lot of progress here. They, The server did not get back in touch with me on those. Well, we got those. Odd. Very odd. Alright. Oh, okay, because I did those initially. Yeah, so because of these guys targeting the squid, we we get an issue sometimes of too much too much lag between the client and the server, and then the server kicks me. So that's just the name of the game. We may go through this a little bit more. Hopefully not. Yeah, see, that's a that's a symbol of it right there. Um yeah, we might hit it a few more times. So anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, we're going to be building this, and because we have survival, um, it's going to be very difficult to take down the uh, iron blocks. So, sorry for that. Got to think a little bit. We don't need the pistons right now, so I'll bring in some more dirt, and that should should be fine. Yeah, so we'll get the dirt first. All right, so. Now that I've got a pretty good good handle on the pattern here, what are we going to talk about? Well, as you know, we are in the process of moving. That's Soap's family. And part of that is that I have to sell our current house. So we, we own our house. We don't rent. And that means that, well, I guess we could uh, keep this house and and get the, another one but the problem is that we don't can't really afford that so we're going to have to sell this one and to do that we have to get it a little more presentable now we 
we live in our house. We use it. It is a, it is definitely a useful tool, and part of using that, at least with two kids, involves a lot of, you know, food splatters on the walls, and sometimes when they've gotten into pens and they didn't know any better, they wrote on the walls, and so we've got painting to do. Uh, then you know, this winter has been rather rough in our area. I might get kicked again. Did it? Did it go? Okay. Um, and, and so the outdoors are, you know, we need some TLC out in our front, um, front garden area. And I had, I've had a garden for three or four years in a row now. And, uh, we, we didn't do one this year because we are getting ready to move. And gardens don't tend to look too good on, uh, or when you're trying to sell the house. And... I really don't have time to think about it. So that's that's the other thing. We're trying to minimize the overall distractions. Maybe I should do that trick and, and get rid of these guys. But no matter, soon all of the spawning areas will be gone and we don't have to worry about them anymore. All right. So yeah, gardens take a lot of mental energy, if you will. And if you're trying to do something that also requires mental energy or something else then you need to you need to be careful um, as to how much you you take on so yeah I am working on removing removing some that I can't I shouldn't be leaving that I'm working on removing the the potential distractions so so yeah that's uh, that's the name of the game. Not not what I wanted to do. We wanted that, and then we'll take that. All right. This is where it gets interesting, as if it wasn't already interesting. All right. So what all do we have to do? Well, at the time of my recording this, I am going. To, I'm getting ready to get the painters in. They're coming over today. Of course, for you, that's going to be. Um, three weeks ago, which seems kind of hard to believe. Yes, that's how far in advance, at least three weeks ago, depending on how the schedule comes. Again, I've gotten caught before by referring to specific dates when recording, um, and it ended up, let's get this, it ended up messing me up a little bit. And uh, so I'm not going to make any promises as to when this one will go out. Instead, you just have to assume it's at least three weeks. We might get some more more lag. But I've got some other ideas that we're going to be filling up in in the video realm. Okay, so so we'll see how the schedule pans out. I'm just recording a bunch, getting a bunch of stuff ready for you. And that way we shouldn't see a blip in any content from the channel during the move, which uh, it could be happening. Why do I keep doing that? Because I'm concentrating on something else. Yeah, it, the move could be happening soon after this video goes out. Who knows? So, what do we got to do? Painting. Yeah. We probably would have had to paint even if we didn't have two kids, but definitely with two kids. Um, yeah. It's just part and parcel of owning a house. You know, if you... One of the big things is our dining room. We don't have any chair rails or anything. So the chairs get backed up against the wall. And so that's kind of scuffed up. We just need, it hasn't been painted in over seven years. So, so yeah, it's time for a refresh. I don't, oh, once again, we're going to keep doing this. So we've been going for about 10 minutes. We'll go for a little bit longer. I'll keep trying to tell you what uh what's going on oh yeah so when you come in the the potion effects aren't on and so they they get a good lock on you yep so we're going to be painting and it's pretty wide ranging we're doing the outdoor uh, like our deck and and our uh, front porch rail and our, our front door and shutters so get out of the way well, we're probably going to get kicked again. 
So let me see if I can take care of that, and I will be right back. All right, so we're back, hopefully um, for a decent amount of time. Let me start my stopwatch, too. We've got about, well, we'll try and go for a couple more minutes, and then we'll have to take a cut and get some some of the more technical stuff done, because I do have to follow a tutorial on this. So anyway, what else do we have to get done for the house? Well, I have been cleaning off the siding um, on the north side of the house. And if you don't know about that, um, moss and mildew grows on the north side of things just due to the way the sun the sun hits it. So, um, so yeah, we've got a, a, I've been slowly but surely taking a bunch of bleach, uh, diluted bleach, and spraying it on the side of the house. And what that does is it kills the mold and mildew and cleans off the siding. So, so yeah, that's been a rather long and arduous process, kind of like digging this out or getting rid of water with sand. It's my own IRL grindy stuff. And, uh, and yeah, so now I'm just waiting. I'm going to be borrowing a tall ladder from a friend. Got to get a, an extension ladder because, well, I am not tall enough. We've the house. It's not a. It's a two or it's a one story, but because the way the land sits, it's on a hill. So, so I do have to get a tall ladder for that. So what else we got to do? Well, just just standard maintenance stuff. We got to get the gutters cleaned and. What's the other one? My most favorite part is gardening. So we we have kind of we've had a hard winter, um, at least as far as this area is concerned. It's not hard if you are from further north, but but yeah, the the garden just needs some TLC. We need to just clean out the old mulch, bring in some new mulch, and that's also coming today along with the painters. And by the time you see this video all the mulch should be ready to go and take it okay yeah that's my favorite part so i've been planting some flowers um pulling out some stuff that i don't want to leave the next owners yeah yeah i've got a crepe myrtle that i won as part of a contest and i want to keep that it's a really pretty crepe myrtle uh, i've got a bunch of other crepe myrtles but uh, they're not not quite the same. They're, most of them are volunteers that I was able to borrow or get from other people. So they do they do hold special meaning, but I can't move them at the moment. They've been in the ground for far too long. So they will have to stay, and hopefully the next who whoever buys the house next will take proper care of them. I, I hope so. I really like crepe myrtles. They're very pretty plants very versatile to a lot of different shapes and colors both of the flowers and the leaves and yeah so uh, let's see what else have I been pulling well I got out my strawberry plants uh, I've got I had a huge patch got got uh, some of those from a friend and they multiplied like you wouldn't believe last year and I'm gonna take most of those with me so we can have a strawberry patch at our new place. Again, we still don't know where we're gonna or what what we're moving into, but we will figure that out as we go. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish doing this. We've got to take this whole pattern all the way up. So, a bunch of rows of three dirt, and then slime block and dirt, and each of these is its own little module of a water pusher. Bye, Erie. Hopefully he's not having connection issues. He was doing a stream. I don't know if he's streaming anymore. But, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish these modules up, and then I'm going to get everything hooked up, all the redstone that goes along with it. And I'll bring you back before we start pushing the water out of the way, and you can see how this thing works, okay? So, I will be right back. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this progress. Okay, so this is the the pusher part of the modular C splitter or the Moses invention by the Zip Crowd. And I've changed it a little bit from their design again. I told you I was going to go with dirt instead of iron blocks because dirt will be a lot easier to pull apart once we get ready to clean that up. 
when we've cleared all of the water. So let me just show you how this works. Each of these layers is made up of a number of smaller modules. So you've got uh, nine total face blocks and then two extra blocks. So each section is 11 total blocks. On the bottom is going to be a regular piston and on this center slime block is going to be a redstone block. And what happens is as this section gets moved, it's going to push this piston right above the redstone block, which is going to then extend the piston. That moves this slime block out, but then that slime block connects to the bottom two, and that moves the module below, moving this piston in place over this redstone block, so on and so forth, and you rinse and repeat all the way down. What that also does is it moves the redstone block out of position from this, uh, this regular piston, and then the piston retracts. And so what you really need is a little bit of an engine up on the top to push this top row into place over this one, and eventually all of them, all of these modules will go in line above each other and we're going to get all of that water removed. So let me just show you one or one or two. I can't do this too much because it does generate a lot of lag, but we're going to put a redstone block in place here. See how it moved all of them down? Do that here, all the way down. And so now if we look at the bottom, you'll see that these two sections are now one block ahead of these sections. Okay, so I'm going to do that all the way across, get all these redstone blocks in place, and then I am going to build the slime block engine and the coupler module, and that should, uh, once we do that, I have to cut here for that instead of building it on camera because I'm going to be following the tutorial on that, and that's a little bit more difficult for me to do because I have to be watching the other screen. But let me get these other pistons done. And then I'll bring you back once we are ready to start moving the ocean. All right, see you in a bit. All right, we're back. And you can see that I've gotten a lot of progress done. So we've got the coupling units right here. I'm standing on top of one. And then the engine is actually back here. I gotta be careful moving around. So this part right here is the engine and it's currently stopped because this piston, you can see it should be powered, but the problem is there is a furnace in the way. So this piston is not moving, and the way that we handle that is we take out the piston, okay? And, and then I'm going to update this piston right here with a torch, but I need to be off of this whole mechanism because it's going to go for two blocks, and we might see a little bit of a frame rate drop as all of the water, uh, the falling water behind these pushers changes. Okay, so that's what we're up against. Oh, I see. We've got, um, we're going to have have it filling in behind, behind us. So we'll see how that goes once we get between the walls. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, so anyway, what we're going to do now so I'm going to go to the back here, and you should see this engine move just one. I'm going to update it with just a torch. Okay, see it goes a couple times. See it updating all the way down. Can you feel the frame rate drop? I can. I can see it. It went down to below 30. All right, now we're coming back up, so the game has updated everything. So let's see how... how how did we do? Okay, so we've got flowing water back here. Yeah, and I'll have to come through and clean that up, but I've got plenty of leaves for that. And I'm, I'm going to build a wall back here in the back and then clean up any water sources that are still hanging out. But you can see kind of what I've got to do. And I've just got these, these um, we we'll call them brakes. They're, they're brakes for the engine. I've got them spaced out all along this axis right here. And so I will just go along, take those out, update the piston, and then we will uh, we'll 
progress on through this but I'm not going to keep you for the recording of that because of the frame rate drop and instead I will bring you back once it's all done all right see you in a moment all right real quick ladies and gentlemen I'm going to start the engine one last time and that should be it let's take a look you can see I had a few problems where it, it ran aground and then got locked up and I had to do some cleanup but we are pretty much done you can see the frame rate drop let me just get on solid ground so we don't have a little slideshow going all of that water is updating so it's flowing down to the sea floor and that's where the frame rate drop is happening so let's see what we can do here up oh, okay it looks like the frame rate is returning no nope. it's still yeah, you can see the flowing water right there. But yeah, so the engine has done its job. I've still got a lot of cleanup to do. You can see over there I need to put in the other wall. And that should get rid of all of that flowing water. And then over here I need to take back my scaffolding. Okay, and then tear down this whole machine. So that, that was it. That's a one-purpose machine, but there we go. The water from here is cleared out for the most part and I'll do the rest of the cleanup before we come back together for the next piece which is either the collection area or the spawning area I'm not sure which one yet I need to get out the graph paper and do some calculations as to how I'm going to put all this together but uh, we'll, we'll see so uh, it'll be clear once once we come back together over here I might schedule this in amongst some other builds. I've got some ideas for shops that I want to put over in the commercial district, so I might be doing those as well. But uh, but once again, we're still trying to do a lot of content during the move so that uh, I don't have to worry about not giving you a video while all of that craziness is going on. So, hopefully you enjoyed. If you got any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below or catch me on Twitter at MCSoapTheGreat. But I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.